JPR Tech here and this is the Puro Weekend living in Japan talking about tech photography videography and all the tech in our lives to make the best use of it for cheap or better yet free now today I'm gonna be doing an update video on the desk that you see behind me now I'm not I know I'm gonna butcher the name so I'm gonna put it up in the screen Ustes Utes Pelare I don't know I, I don't know why I threw an Italian accent in there anyway you'll see the link in the description. And again, this video is not affiliated whatsoever. This is all for personal use using my personal money. Now, I just wanna basically answer the question. This video that I made, this review video has been very popular in my channel and a lot of people have commented and asked questions on it. While I'm answering the questions, I'm gonna be showing you around, sharing some of the good things that I found and some of the things that could be improved on the desk that maybe I don't like so much, but overall it's just super positive. And I can just straight out of the bat tell you guys that I still recommend this desktop because of the price and the quality you're getting. Speaking of price, I did check on Ikea's website and I noticed that the price has actually doubled since the time that I purchased it. I purchased this desk and chair combo about 10, 12 months ago, it's actually almost a year. I can't believe how time flies. And right now in Ikea's website is at $470, yikes. So that's quite a price. I don't know if it's worth that much price because you know, you're stepping up to the pro consumer business budget. I don't know if it's worth all that much money. When I got it, I only paid $269 for the set. So it's a huge difference. But anyway, the quality, it's still top notch. And uh, I'll just take you around to show you guys some of the things that you guys might be wondering about. Now, definitely the number one question that I'm getting about this test is, can it hold my monitor? Can it hold my arm or an arm with dual monitor setup? Now, this is a very, very complicated question because it's all relevant to each personal case. We all have different monitors. We all have different stuff we're gonna put on top of that mesh metal. And it just depends on your personal situation. And also the clamping system for each arm might be a little different, but I only have a single arm. It's over the 28 inch 4K monitor that is not light. It's pretty beefy and heavy. Or underneath it, actually, you could see my Mac mini laying there on the corner. Ooh, a new addition to my setup is the 2021 MacBook Pro 14 inch. More on that later. Now that thing, that little beast is sitting on top of a, just a regular adjustable, flexible laptop stand. So it's not clamped onto the mesh. It's just sitting on top, but it is a heavy stand. It's made out of metal. It has rubber feet and it's pretty sturdy and yeah, heavy itself. But regardless, the main question is, does it hold? And if it holds all that, and this is also, you know, everything adds up, the weight adds up, but it holds it just fine. The mesh does bend like ever so slightly if you put something right on the center of the mesh, but it really doesn't bend at all. Like it, it's not a dangerous bend. It's just the pressure of the weight. Yeah, as long as you clamp the arm on the metal framing, you don't have to worry about the mesh because the mesh is not holding any weight whatsoever. The frame does all the hard work for it. Another thing I noticed about this, the build quality is how strong it is. I have dropped this tripod ball head mount with the camera, dropped it on top of the desk and still no scar. It's nice and smooth, clean surface. It's super easy to clean. Speaking of the clean, yeah, it's very easy to just wipe it down with a wet towel. All the stains or marks, any scops, they're all gone, disappear. So as of now, after one year of use and bumping into this desk and dropping things on it, still have no scratches. 
And again, the chair is the same story. The build quality is awesome. I still see no scars, no wear, no tears. The threading in this uh, pleather material is still intact. No, there's no bends. And if I raise my legs up on my last chair, because it dented, I will slowly spin to the side, but this chair does not spin whatsoever. So it shows that the bar or the beam of the base of the chair is still straight and I am no light feather. This is, is carrying a lot every day. So kudos. Another neat thing about the mesh and the framing around the desk is that it's all metal. So if you have magnetic mounting um, mounts, like for cable management, if they're magnetic, they're gonna stick nicely around and under the desk. So that is another huge benefit that I, I didn't know was possible. So I ordered myself some magnetic cable. And lastly, what are some things that I ha I'm not too fond of in this desk? There are not a lot underneath the desk. There is that netting that holds all your cable management. Well, it doesn't really help with cable management. It actually makes me more lazy and I just throw things in there and not organized whatsoever. So if I show you what is happening right now, you might get a heart attack. So those of you that are very perfectionist, you might want to look away for a second while I show you what's under there. But OK, I'm going to I am fixing this right now. I'm reorganizing all my cores and cables because as you can see, I am changing machines. So I'm in the middle of cleaning up and I'm going to tidy up the cables. But I'm just sharing you, I'm just telling you guys that that net is so convenient that we just throw all our power cords in there and just let the mess in there because I don't see it at all. You can't even see it either in this headshot. So it doesn't bother anybody to have a mess down there. But I'm just telling you, that is one of the things I noticed. It's just, it's hard to keep neat that net down there, that situation going on down there. But I'm gonna clean it up. So I'm just being picky here, but another thing that I wish we had this option and is that I, w I just wish the legs were adjustable. Yeah, I know, I know guys, this is not an adjustable desk, but I'm just warning you guys, when you're setting up the desk, make sure to get the proper height that's most comfortable for you from the get go. Because after you put everything on top, it's gonna be a hassle to readjust later. That's about it guys. I hope this update review and answers a lot of the questions you guys have out there again about the weight thing and the mounting arms i'm sorry i can't be any more specific all i can tell you is that the framing is pretty strong and it really depends it's all up to your monitor your tv i have a 28 inch 4k i don't know how a 32 or 43 inch or a 50 inch tv is gonna handle that mesh but um as of 28 is perfectly fine. Take that with a grain of salt. I hope this video helped you guys answer any questions you may have. And if you do have any more questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. I do try to get back to you as soon as possible, as soon as I can. What else is there to say then? Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Happy shootings.